The European Parliament is to vote on a deal that would allow the US to access information on the bank transfers of European citizens. America says it's a necessary measure to track terror suspects. But critics say the proposal that's been discussed between the EU and the US for months now violates human rights. Well, for more, let's now talk to Jan Philip Albrecht, a member of the uh, European Parliament. Mr Albrecht, many thanks for joining us. Now, how legal is it for any government to get access access to the banking data of private individuals without first asking their permission. Yeah, normally it's okay. So in general, um, there is a possibility to, to get access for information also for, uh, from people from the EU when it comes to suspicions, when it comes to cooperation and security uh, in the field of security. But in this case, um, we are still not really convinced that it's possible uh, to have these vast amount of data transfers where individuals are also um, tracked who are not suspicious and who are not uh, part of an investigation. That's uh, uh, the problem which we have and we want to have individual transfer which is not in this agreement. But America has said that this is a necessary measure to track terror suspects and international terrorism is a major international problem so maybe Europe should be supporting the US in its fight against it. Absolutely. We are supportive to this. We work together with the United States very strongly on fighting terrorism and on security. But it has to be on the basis of the rule of law and on the protection of fundamental rights also of European Union citizens. And so we are going to have strong minimum standards in the field of data protection and this is uh, excluding from my opinion is the possibility of mass data transfers and it should be an individualized and uh, a judicial overviewed uh, transfer. Now you're on record Mr Albrecht as saying that human rights in the US are not well protected. That's quite a big statement. Why do you say that? Uh, oh, I, I didn't say that. I say, I say data protection rights are not that high at the moment in the United States. This is, uh, according to our criticism, the point where the United States perhaps has to change also a little bit when it comes to the security policy. And we as European Parliament are standing for higher data protection principles because we have higher in the Euro Euro European Union. And if it comes to a stronger cooperation, then there also has to be a stronger basis of data protection rights. OK, Mr. Jan Philip Albrecht, a member of the European Parliament, many thanks for speaking to us. Thank you.